We've logged into our cloud site as the JIRA administrator, Dakota Jones. Only JIRA administrators can create classic projects. On the Projects page, we'll click Create Project and select Classic Project. Let's click Change Template. Here you see all the classic project templates available in your JIRA. What you see here depends on what JIRA products you have installed. Let's select Kanban. Let's name the project and we'll leave the key at PA. The project key is used as the prefix of this project's issue keys. For example, your first issues key will be PA1. If there are multiple words in the project name, the key is filled in with the first letter of each of the words in the name. You can change the default project key here, but if you do, choose a key that's descriptive and easy to type. Users will often use the issue key to find an issue and you want to make it as easy as possible for them. So don't use overly long keys. And the key can be changed after project creation, but it's better to start off with a suitable one. Share settings with an existing project lets you share project configurations such as issue types, workflows, screens, fields and more with other classic projects. If a change is made to one of the project's configurations, that change affects all the projects that share that configuration. We'll leave it unchecked and click Create. Now we see the new project and we can click this Project Settings to access the project's administration pages. JIRA has two types of administration pages, the JIRA administration pages and the project settings pages. The JIRA administration pages cover the whole of JIRA. These you access from the administration cog icon in the global sidebar or by typing period or dot then the name of the page. The Project Settings pages apply only to the project. On the Project Details page, we'll click the avatar and choose another one. It's good to have an avatar that is representative of your project. If none of the supplied avatars suit your purposes, you can upload your own image. We'll enter a description. The description is optional, but is useful, especially if you have many projects. We'll scroll down and for project lead, we'll start typing Sophie and select Sophie Nguyen. The project lead is the person who manages the project within and outside JIRA. By default, JIRA assigns the person who created the project. We'll discuss project roles in more detail in the next module. We'll leave the default assignee as unassigned and click Save Details. And we now see our new project avatar at the top of the project sidebar.